Support your Kansas City Needle Kings and pick up a t-shirt today. Link is on the screen or also check the description. Alrighty, what is going on dudes? My name is Lord13 and welcome back to another Pokemon OS Wi-Fi battle. So, today for you all I have another OU match. Uh, it is a match against Josh. We had, um, I don't remember how long ago. It was, it was a good while ago. It was a very, very awesome battle though. I very much enjoyed it. But, as you see I'm bringing a random assortment of Pokemon. I wanted to use a bunch of these Pokemon. Uh, especially my new Megalopony. Which is pretty cool stuff. At this point, it's not at all new. But, you know, uh, as of this battle, it was. So, pretty cool stuff. Josh is also bringing a very, very hyper-offensive team, as you can see on the other side of the field. So, without further further ado, let's get going. Um, this is the black and white legendary music, isn't it? Or, no, it may be the, 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 the will, willpower trio. Maybe. Something like that. Anyways, like that. So, uh, he leads out with his Cloyster, and I lead out with Dwayne. Now, I decided to switch. You know, I could have probably lived whatever this thing threw at me anyway, just because I'm pretty bulky, and it would have really helped to get up my Stealth Rocks. But, instead, um, I decided to swap out into my Suicune, expecting, like, the Ice Shard or something like that. I don't even know, dude. Because, like, after the Shell Smash, if I had hit this thing with the, um... Uh, what do you call it? the Stone Edge? I would have died, and I would not have to deal with this damn cloister, which is so frustrating. So he's gonna hit my sweet gun here with the Rock Blast. So it's going to do quite a lot of damage. It's gonna do over half my health. So uh, right here, I start setting up Calm Mines because I know if I can hit this thing with a Scald, especially after a plus one Calm Mind and after the Shell Smash, I should be able to kill the thing. Now, the problem is, can I live another Rock Blast? So. Considering the first one uh, took me down 107, it was, yeah, uh, something like that. It took me down like a hunt over half my health, so I was hoping that I could live it. And right here, I don't think this mattered, but he did get a critical hit on the last one. So, I don't know if I would have lived there or not. So, anyway, it, it, it sucks, but whatever. <laughs> so, now I send out my Whimsicott because, um... Right here, I decided to go for the Encore, which, um, yeah, just so he couldn't hit me with an Ice-type move. And he decides to go for the the Rock Blast anyway. First, it gets a crit, but it's just gonna wreck my Whimsicott, because Whimsicott has no defenses. So, right now, I've lost three Pokemon to this, or, no, two Pokemon, excuse me, to this Cloister. So, now I'm going to send in my Mega, or my Lopunny here. And I'm going to make Evolve because I want to be able to do as much damage as I can to this thing. And so, um, this thing is quicker because of the sh Shell Smash, but I do have Fake Out. So I'm going to hit this thing with a Fake Out and do a fairly decent amount of damage. Um, even though it was Stab and I have a really good attack stat. So he's going to start hitting me with the Rock Blast. Now, I know I can live one, obviously, because I resisted me being a Fighting type now that I Mega Evolved. So... Uh, he's going to do quite a lot of damage and do just over half of my health with that. And so I'm going to hit this thing with a power-up punch. Because that will raise my attack one stage and also will do a pretty decent amount of damage. Um, I really should have gone for the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the the high jump kick. But I actually thought that the power-up punch would kill it, it being at minus one defense. So it's just going to kill me with the Ice Shard. Now, Vex is going to finally come in here and sweep up this Cloyster. Uh, it absolutely sucks. It knocked out half of my team. So, and it's only a third of the way through the battle. So, <laughs> not that great. Anyway, uh, once the Cloyster's down, he's going to swap into the Registeel. Because the Registeel can deal pretty nicely with Vex. So I'm going to hit this thing with, an, uh, with not Aqua Jet, a Crab Hammer, and do a crap ton of damage with a crit. Uh, it would have still been a two-hit KO without it. But he gets the critical hit on Equake. So I lose Vex. And I was, like, really upset because I would have killed this thing had it not been for that. So now I send out my Boofalot and I lock myself into um, Earthquake here. So the um, the Registeel is going to go down. I only have two more Pokemon, which is my Regirock and I also have... 
um, my Bouffalant here. So, he's gonna go for the Quiver Dance here. Right now, since I'm Choice Banded into E-Quake, I'm just gonna hit this thing with an Earthquake and see how much damage I can do. Um, wondering if I, um, yeah, if I'll kill the thing and whatnot. But, uh, this a little, like, um, I'd say probably 45% or so. So, right now, I'm gonna swap into Dwayne, and, uh, he's gonna set up the Quiver Dance. So, that's fine with me. I mean, really, this... I'm pretty damn bulky anyway, so I'm gonna take pretty much whatever it throws at me pretty nicely. So he's just gonna go for the roost. Now, me, I'm sitting here thinking, wait, why did he go for the roost? I mean, um, he does. I know he doesn't carry Giga Drain, cause but some Volcaronas do, and it can learn it. So one Stone Edge is easily just going to wreck the Volcarona, so it just goes down pretty easily. So now he sends in the Metagross here. And he's going to Mega Evolve the thing, and it's probably his best bet against um, my uh, Regirock. So, pretty much, he's just going to hit me with a Zen Headbutt and try to do as much damage as he can. He does a little bit, but Dwayne's super bulky, and he does get the flinch, which does suck. So, uh, once I get my leftovers recovery, I'm sitting pretty nicely still on HP. He's going to go for the Bullet Punch this time, which should do more, obviously, because it's super effective and it's stab. So I'm going to hit this thing with a T-Wave. So now it's going to paralyze it. I'm going to be faster than it, which is kind of funny considering I'm a Regirock, but... <laughs> so I'm going to be able to outspeed the Metagross and then hit this thing with a few things. So, uh, sadly, I don't know why I didn't get my rocks up. I should have done that. Uh... Right, like, right here. It, I don't even know. So, instead of, uh, E-Quake, I carry Drain Punch on, um, uh, my, uh, my Regirock, which, I like that. I'm, I'm okay, I'm definitely okay with that. I just forgot about that. So, um, pretty, pretty cool stuff. So, I'm just gonna keep Drain Punching this thing, because I can't do much else to it. Stone Edge won't do, uh, very much. I don't, th I think it'll probably do about the same as Drain Punch. But this way, I get HP back as I'm doing this. So, I'm um, sitting here just kind of trying to stall this thing out and see if I can, uh, by chance, win by um, just hitting this thing a couple times. Anyways, <laughs> pretty cool stuff. Eats me the bolt punch. It does quite a bit of damage. Um, so, I'm going to... I get a good amount of HP, 12 HP back from the drain punch. And I'm going to get about that as well from my leftovers. So, I'm sitting pretty here. I know I can live one more bullet punch. I'm pretty sure. Um, but he decides... To make sure he gets the kill, so he's going for a different attack, but he gets fully parried. So, I'm sitting here, I'm like, yes! Alright, I can definitely live another bullet punch now. So, um, pretty cool stuff. He's gonna hit me with the bullet punch, and right here, he gets the critical hit. So, Dwayne is going to go down. That sucked, because Dwayne might have been able to beat that Metagross. I don't know, I think he could have. So, now I swap back into my Bouffalant, who I'm just going to lock into Earthquake. Because uh, he's got the, he's got two steel types left, and um, yeah. So I wanted to make sure I was able to kill the steel types. Buffalant is my last Pokemon, so uh, he's got two more, which is his Crawdont and his Bisharp. So it's gonna hit me with the Sucker Punch. It's not gonna do it's gonna do a lot less than I actually thought it would. Buffalant's got some nice bulk behind it, so uh, the B Sharp is easily gonna go down to the Banded Earthquake, and now he has the Crawdont. So I'm hoping that I um, we'll be able to kill this thing. So, pretty much, he's gonna hit me with the Aqua Jet. I know I can live the Aqua Jet, uh, especially because he's Life Orb, not Choice Banded. So, I'm going to hit this thing with an Earthquake. It's gonna do a, quite a lot of damage, but doesn't kill it. So, I end up losing the match. And I do believe, had he not gotten the crit on the Regirock, that I would have been able to win the match. And if I did have my rocks, that crawl don't want to die to its Life Orb. And actually, even maybe to the Equake. So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this Wi-Fi battle. Uh, it was a pretty cool battle. One of my best battles I've done. 1-0 um, victory for him. So, it was pretty, pretty, pretty fun battle. So, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button. It is always appreciated. And, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I'll talk to you all later.